The Square Kilometre Array will be the largest radio telescope that we have built so far and it will be in two locations. There will be SK Mid in South Africa and there will be SK Low here in Western Australia. This is a verification system we're building. This is basically the result of two to three years of design work we've done with the international teams here. The day before I build antennas, then uh, deploy hybrid cable and uh, attach to the uh, APIU. Um, then today I was uh, with other guys uh, uh, outside the field uh, testing all the single antennas, uh, cross-checking to the control room. This is the first time that I'm involved in a so big project, so for me it's a, it's a very great experience. We've been collaborating a lot with people within Europe and sometimes with the Australians and the South Africans as well. This is the first time which we have a contingent coming here, a European contingent coming here for AVS and working together. With the verification system we're trying to prove to ourselves that we've designed a system which is actually viable of operating in a harsh environment as the MRO. We're standing in front of the uh, Aperture Array Verification System, or AAVS. Uh, it's the first full-sized prototype station for the SKA Low radio telescope. The AAVS works as a, a giant radio telescope where all of the signals from all of the antennas that you see behind me are combined so that it works as the equivalent of a large dish antenna. But because the AAVS-1 is all electronic, it's far more flexible uh, than uh, and agile than a normal radio telescope. We recently installed more antennas in the field. Uh, over the last sort of 12 months, we've pretty much doubled the number of antennas that we have. Uh, and at the moment, we can't process the signals from all of those antennas at once until we upgrade the back end. So it's, it's a constant process of improvement. Once, as we learn things, we make changes and modifications that, that improve the results that we get. The AVS antennas are log periodic dipole antennas. They're not too dissimilar to the antennas you would use to pick up TV and radio. But what's different is that they're pointed up at space and they have very, very sensitive electronics in them that make them exquisitely sensitive to the radio waves coming from space. Yeah, AAVS-1 has been designed and constructed by an international collaboration of research institutions and universities. I think we are getting on very well, so I'm, I'm impressed because uh, we managed to do very much just in a few days. Partners come from uh, Australia, the UK, Malta, the Netherlands and Italy. I think uh, the international group is very, very, very nice uh, to collaborate together. We're professional, but we're also just friends. I mean, we're a group. We have a family meeting 30 minutes after we arrive at Woolin just to summarize the day. This team in particular, I think, is a problem solving team. This is very good in particular for the prototype. The lessons that we've learned from AAVS-1 will be fed into the, the larger design process for SKA Low, and all of this then moves forward to the construction phase for SKA Low in the future. SKA Low is really going to provide a unique window in the period of the universe called the Epoch of Reionization, which is a period of the universe that we currently know very, very little about. We just want to understand. I guess that's part of us humans. We want to understand, and that's what we're trying to realise here. I really hope that the SK can bring new understandings across not only astrophysics but perhaps the technology side. Things that we develop for the SK might spin off into other things that might help everyday people in their everyday lives as well.